you're going to need in order to follow along with the Liberty Training the way I'm teaching it. So the very first thing you are going to need is a round pen. A round pen is going to make all the difference in the world when it comes to teaching your horse Liberty. If you don't have a round pen, I'm not going to say that it's impossible to teach your horse Liberty still, it's just going to be a lot harder. So you definitely are going to want to be working with your horse in a round pen at first and then eventually we'll move into bigger spaces, but a round pen is going to be super essential to teaching your horse Liberty. So if you don't have access to a round pen and there's no possible way for you to get access to a round pen, one of the options for you might be to teach your horse all of the exercises I'm going to be teaching online first, so using the halter and lead rope, and then you can eventually condition them and wean them off of that so that then you can be doing these exercises at liberty, but like I said, a round pen is going to get you the best results the quickest way possible. So the next thing you guys are going to need is a couple of different whips, but first let's talk about what the whips are for and how we use them, because when people hear the word whip, it kind of starts to raise a red flag. So let's just talk really quick about what the whips are for and how we use them correctly. So the purpose of the whip, whether it be a long lunge whip or a short dressage whip, is just to help add an extension to our arms, okay? If my arm is only two and a half feet long, I have to be within two and a half feet of my horse or I'm gonna lose connection. I can't send him directions and cues. But if I have a four foot long lunge whip that I'm holding, that just gave me a total of six and a half feet that now I can be six and a half feet away from my horse and I can still send him directions and cues with the whip. So the whip is just an extension of our arm to help better communicate with our horses. Okay, so the very first whip I'm gonna use when I start out teaching my horses liberty is the lunge whip, okay? It has a long, stiff handle also has a very long string, okay, the lunge whip. And the reason why I start out my horses with this one is because when they're first learning Liberty, they're not going to be right next to me. They're going to kind of be out further in the round pen. So I'm going to need a longer extension of my arm so that I can still communicate with them and reach them, okay? So this is actually a little bit sometimes too long when I'm doing stuff with my miniature horses, but this is still what I will be using. Um, and then eventually, once they get better at Liberty and they get better about sticking closer to you, then we can move down to a smaller whip. But this is the lunge whip, and this is the one that I will be starting out with. So this is the one that you guys are going to want to get first, probably. So the next whip that you guys are going to want to get is either another lunge whip that's the same length or a stock whip, okay? What I have here is a stock whip. It's just a little bit shorter. doesn't have quite as long of a loose end as the lunge whip did. I like the stock whip with my miniature horses just because they're smaller and it can be kind of hard to handle two long lunge whips. But basically, we're going to get to the point where you're going to need to be using two whips at a time to kind of start guiding your horse. So you can either get another lunge whip or you can get a stock whip. Um, it doesn't really matter, whichever you prefer. So then the last whip you guys are going to need to have is a dressage whip. Okay, a dressage whip is a lot smaller. It just has a little bit of a tassel on the end. I love doing all my work with the dressage whip because it's just a lot less of um, a handful to have to finagle with. You don't have to, you know, you're not always tripping over the long string like you are with the lunge whip. But you don't really want to use the dressage whip until you have a lot of your basics covered at Liberty and are starting to do more advanced stuff um, because, again, it is a lot shorter, so you're not going to have as much of a reach. You're not going to have as much of an extension with your arm. So you are going to need a dressage whip at some point, but it's not going to be used for probably the first, at least, month or so of your Liberty training, probably. So those are the three whips that you guys are going to want to have on hand for when you start your Liberty training. And then the last thing that you guys are going to want to get is horse treats of some kind. Um, they have horse like treat couches that you can strap around your waist and that 
can be really, really nice and convenient. Um, so you can always look into getting one of those. I just use like a Ziploc bag and stick it in my pocket because it's cheap. So whatever you decide to do with that, make sure you have some treats um, available. And then, yeah, I think that is basically all you are going to need for starting out um, teaching your horse liberty. So hopefully you guys are getting really excited about starting this journey. And my next video, I'm going to introduce the horse that I'm going to be working with and kind of explain what exactly these videos are going to look like and how I'm going to put them out, how I'm going to kind of organize them. So make sure you watch that next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and all your support.